Welcome to my channel, All for Health with Jane. Family, the sense may you are made a trial continues. In court, advocate Mgome Zulu, you know, he insists to cross-examine Sergeant Mohola on uh, the statement that was written by Sifiso uh, Meiwa. Sifiso Meiwa is the late Senzo Meiwa's brother. You know, though, uh, uh, the statement the, uh, uh, that is made by Sifiso is said to be not properly commissioned. Advocate Mgome Zulu says it is going to be read in court. You know, he's doing all this just to push docket 375. He wants to see the court going inside that docket family. And he's doing that. You know, when they say a person is taking it by force, this is what we see Advocate Mgome Zulu doing in this court. Family, let's listen to Advocate Mgome Zulu. Hello, I just want to place on record that the oh, thanks. The statement I was referring to is A12. Uh, statement? Uh, statement for Sifiso Meiwa. It's A12. Oh. A12, okay. It does not relate, my lord, to the identification of the deceased body. <clears throat> With the leave of the court, my lord, that I humbly request to place this statement as a version that I'm putting to this witness as the investigating officer. Okay. To place the statement, may I request Mr. Jonas to read it for me? Well, my Lord, a statement must first be proven before the, before its contents in total can be put before court, if there are perhaps certain portions that my learned friend would like to put to the witness, it's normally allowed in cross-examination, but you can't put the whole statement as the truth before the, before the court. That, that, that is not proper. The statement must first be proven, my Lord. My Lord, I, I disagree with my colleague. <clears throat> As I've indicated, that it's one of the statements. I cannot be selective on what is contained in the statement. I'm putting this statement <clears throat> to the investigating officer who had the direct uh, uh, moment to investigate this matter. Did he commission the statement? The Listen, statement was commissioned, my lord. By this witness? No, not by this witness. By whom? By it was commissioned in Deben on the on the fourth month of 2019 at three o'clock. So, are you going to call the person who commissioned Correct, the statement? Lord. Correct. And who wrote the statement? Oh, the statement was written by Sifiso Mayi. So he wrote it himself. Himself. He, he didn't it. relate it to. A police officer. That's correct, man. So Sifiso Meiwa is the is one the who wrote the statement. Correct, my lord. And it was commissioned. And commissioned by who was the commissioner of oaths? <coughs> May I just confirm the mistake? It's not clear. It says it's not clear. <coughs> it, it just says Lieutenant Kennel, the name's not written. What? It just says Lieutenant Kennel, Lieutenant Kennel, my lord, but the name. There's the no name there. There's no name. It just gives the address 218 Kisaka Street, Pretoria. So what do we do, Mr. We will call that, uh, I've, I'll converse with my, my witness, my lord. But the person to be called to confirm the <coughs> who commissioned the statement will be called, my lord. But he says it's not properly commissioned. The person says I'm Luft Luft Lieutenant Colonel. My lord, <coughs> that will be the <coughs> aspect dealt during the evidence of that Colonel. How does the court <coughs> allow a document which is not properly commissioned. At least I'm trying to assist also. When Mr. Valoy says it must be proven, fine. Yes. But now we hear that it is drafted by a certain lieutenant colonel. 
There's no name there or stamp. This stamp. My Lord. <coughs> my Lord, may I just request right. this? The same exercise that was done by Colonel Hose, mm. a supplementary affidavit will be filed in due course for the confirmation of the same Colonel who, who commissioned the statement. <coughs> Remember, with Hose, we really we actually adjourned. Hey, Mr. Baloy, is that not correct? Yes, we did adjourn so, for him to file a supplementary statement. If you want us to adjourn, fine. Sorry, my Lord, may I confirm with my colleagues something? The original. The original. I'm looking for the original. Is that? I'm looking for the original statement because this is a. Oh, point. I see. Okay. <clears throat> It appear that this statement is in the second docket. Not, it's not in the second docket. Oh, not, 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 not in this docket. Yes, not in the 636, my lord. It's in the 375 docket. 375 docket. <laughs> so you insist that it must be proven, Mr. Malui? Indeed, my lord. Is that what the law says? Yes. Sorry. I didn't hear that, Mr. Mm -hmm. But you see, this, is, this witness didn't make the statement. Yeah, Mr. Babloi, are you listening? Yes, indeed. She I'm didn't putting make the, the statement. facts to the witness to comment or not to comment. If I put a version of the accused, the accused is not yet taken a witness stand. It's yeah, the but same we can't say, Wait, wait, wait. We can't listen to this court. can't sit and listen to an assertion being put in a statement which is not commissioned. It must be obvious. My Lord, it is commissioned. May By I whom? Just, By whom, sir? My Lord, the investigating officer in, this, in the 375. By whom? I'll confirm that, my Lord. No, no. You must come with a supplementary affidavit. That's correct. That's what for I the want. deponent to, I mean, for the commissioning officer to tell us why he didn't sign his own name, because when you put a commissioning, when you commission a statement in terms of the oath act, we, we you've got to full, you've got to put your full names. You can't say Mr. X, my lord. May I just say this? Yes, sir. This statement is mm. a copy. Yeah. Once I get the original, because it's a little bit blurry, I'll confirm with the original <coughs> statement. If the original statement shows the name of the, the officer, then I'll be pleased to... How but can what, the, sorry, what how I'm can the original to? statement show the name of the officer when they copy of that statement, which is supposed to be certified, does not show the name of the commissioning officer. Are you with me? It's faded. Not that it's not there. It shows even the stamp here. Even there's a stamp. Okay, here. okay, go ahead. Fine, yes. fine. We just okay. want to point out that that is not the end of my learned friend's problems. I, he, he wants to rely on double hearsay what someone told this, this witness that um, whose version he wants to put to the witness. Um, so besides the fact that it was, there's a question mark about the commissioning thereof, it's double, if not triple, hearsay evidence. What's your response, Mr. Mizulu? The facts are already put before this court, before I read the statement. Which facts are those? The one that says it relies on hearsay. Because I know what is contained in the statement. Okay, go ahead. Yes. If when I come to write in the judgment, I find otherwise, you'll, 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 be, no, you'll be told in the judgment. Correct. Ma okay, fine. Thank you very much. May I hand over the statement to... <clears throat> yes, sir. Let's go on. 
Yes, please. Okay. First, let us case 3750 2019. A12, my lord. Sifiso Stanley, may you states under oath in, in Zulu. I am an older adult black male, aged 37 years, with ID number, residing, residing uh, at uh, Umlazi, the address is written, my lord, Umkaka Road. Uh, employed by the South African uh, Police Service as a data typist based at Isipingo Police Station uh, under the supervision uh, of Captain Dube. My contact is, the number is written, I would like to state that uh, the deceased in this uh, case, Senzo Meiwa, was my biological brother. I further wish to state that I have uh, uh, submitted more or less uh, three uh, statements uh, to different uh, police uh, official detectives between 2014 and 2018. The police officers, uh, uh, the police officers was uh, Mkize, Mtetwa, and uh, uh, Shibiri. I only remember, okay, sorry, that's nice. Okay, only remember, Mteto Mkize, that Mr. Ivan Koza, sorry, okay, that Mr. Ivan Koza told me in 2014 that they, uh, the story that uh, people rob or people robbers entered the house and shot my brother was not true. Uh, I was double hearsay, triple hearsay. Okay, go on, go on. Okay. It was a story given uh, to the media by, but was not uh, the real story. Today, 2019, 04-25, Thursday at 14.33, I called the Lieutenant Colonel Mutelezi to please uh, uh, come and take my statement where I still, I'm still saying that uh, on Tuesday, 28 October 2014, I was at my sister-in-law's uh, place uh, in uh, Kempton Park as I was uh, in Gauteng. Uh, I was in Gauteng with my family to prepare for the burial of my brother, Senzo Meiwa. On the same day, 28 October 2014, mm. Okay, I'm not sure about the same name a lot. On the, twin, on the same day, 28 October 2014, Mr. came uh, to fetch me from uh, the office uh, of uh, the Orlando Pirates Club. It looks like Mr. Rufus dropped me inside the premises of uh, the Orlando Pirates where he, Mr. Rufus, took me to the reception area. After a while, Mr. Evan Koza came came and myself, Mr. Evan Koza, and his son, uh, who was driving the car, a Porsche Cayenne, we were in. Mr. Evan Koza told me we were going to choose uh, the coffin. The car drove uh, with me, the car uh, with, we drove, uh, we reached uh, the funeral parlor, B3. Upon arrival at the B3, the coffin was chosen at the funeral parlor, my sister-in-law, Mandy Samkize, uh, she, she was also present when the coffin was chosen. I would like to state that Mr. Evan Koza told me that Senzo Meiwa, my brother, was not shot by robbers. These were, these were, the, active, these were the actual words of Mr. Evan Koza. Senzo Mrawa in brackets. Okay. Okay, okay. I think it then change, changes to Isizulu, my lord. I just want to. Okay. Mfana, Senzo Mfana Aga Duchulwanga Abantu Abangena Endini. Senzo Meiwa was not shot by intruders. 
abekho abantu abangena endlwini usenzo udubuleke ngephutha kade eh, kuliliwa uzandi nesoka lakhe uh, there were no intruders that were shot uh, that entered the, that entered the house senzo was uh, shot by mistake there was a fight between uzandi and her boyfriend this is meaning that okay it's sorry I interpreted it, but apparently it's being said in English again. This means that Senzo was never shot by the robbers, but uh, he was shot by the by mistake, okay, by the mistake, by mistake, as there was a fight between Zandi and her boyfriend. I would like this matter to be investigated as to who told Mr. Evan Koza uh, to be uh, to be established as to who told Mr. Koza this as to what exactly happened in the house where my brother was killed. That is all I wish to state. I know and understand the contents of this statement. I have no objection in taking the prescribed oath. I consider the prescribed oath to be binding on my conscience. Thank you, Madam. As a quick please, my lord, in all fairness to Mr. Koza, he has submitted a statement refuting these allegations. That statement was disclosed to the defense I, I, I think it's improper, my lord, for my learned friend to put a version here before court that he knows has been refuted by the person to whom it's being attributed. Eh <laughs> May I reply, my lord, by saying I had a discussion with my colleague, Mr. Baloy, and asked him about the outstanding witnesses so that we can properly prepare. There are certain witnesses that were, were <coughs> given by Mr. Baloy, but he did not mention Dr. Ivan Koz amongst the witnesses that he is intending to call. I was told that he intends to call General Lishaban, whom we We did not use during trial within a trial. I was told that he's going to call Kwabeni, um, continuation of the evidence of the ballistic, Mr. Mangena, another ballistic, but he never mentioned about Dr. Koza. No, but it's my submission no, no, no. that... I mean, now we're confusing the picture. This is a simple assertion made by the prosecutor, Mr. Baloi. Yes. He says, what is contained in that statement yes. of Mr. Sefeso, yes. the brother to the late uh, Senzo, maybe. Senzo yes. has been refuted by yes. the very Mr. Ivan Koza. Correct. That's what he's saying. That's not he the says he's got a statement. That's not the only way to refute. It. So that's what we're busy with. Okay. But so, so you may continue. My Lord, may I submit to say, Dr. Ivan Koz enjoys no privilege not to come and testify. He will be subpoenaed to come and confirm or to refute the thing okay, fine. on record. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Can I have all my statements, <laughs> even the ones for Rikadia I still have those. <laughs> <sighs> Family advocate Ngomezulu is on fire. Advocate Ngomezulu is unstoppable. You know, no one is going to stop advocate Ngomezulu until the court decides to deal with this docket 375.
family, this is making this court more interesting. Let's wait and see. Thank you so much, family, for watching to the end. Please do not forget to like this video before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I love you, family, and see you on my next upload. Thank you. Bye.